cameras. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I've got a very fun, exciting one for you because I I don't know how long this is gonna be. If it's gonna turn into a series, it's a possibility. But today, I am trying out the new uh, tracks in Mario Kart 8. And uh, we're gonna maybe possibly go for world records. I don't know. We'll see. So we're starting off with the first one, which is a tour track. I myself do play tour, so I I do obviously know these tracks. But like, it's definitely a weird experience actually um, playing them. Uh, in this in this kind of way for the first time it, it's a very surreal experience so I'm gonna try this ah, I think that's gonna be my best option it's a very very interesting track layout so of course uh, obviously we've already started but I myself well you you know it, it, you know the usual, the intro. So, hello there, welcome to the channel. My name is Magical Gamer. You can call me MG for short, and I make content based around first-party Nintendo games like all things Mario, Splatoon, Kirby, etc., as well as the Magical Girl Guy anime genre and things along the lines of SMG4, Glitch, Alex Fighter, etc. So, if you are interested in any of those things, I do highly recommend you check out my silly little channel. I do recommend you hit the sub button, the like button, all of these things help me out immensely. And, uh, you know, please, you know, just do, do all of that fun YouTube stuff, so. Course, any, anyway, so course one is, uh, is Paris Promenade, I like this one. It's very interesting how um, they have the. Uh, oh, I didn't know you could trick there. They still have the uh, the tracks have a shift ability, so that's pretty interesting. Right now, I'm I'm doing this pretty blind, so I, I kind of like obviously I know everything that's in here. Okay, so now that we've um, we've raced through it once, we've uh, beaten the staff ghost. My goal this time is going to be to shave my run as much as possible. I did watch to see what the world record did a bit, so um, I will be trying to implement some of those uh, ideas. Of course, I don't use the same set. It's not uh, like the same combo. I don't particularly like the combo that was used by the record. Even though, um, because for one, it is a cart, and I don't prefer that. So, for preference sake, I, uh, won't be using a cart. Oh, I can trick there. It wasn't working the first couple of times, but... So, um, honestly, it's just... So today's goal isn't necessarily to get a record, but to shave as much as we can. And just to kind of learn the track, so maybe if we keep the series going, we can, uh, we can maybe get a record. I have no idea. Honestly, um, I just enjoy the idea of uh, going after some records because there's some that I've gotten extra close to um, So if we can actually pull it off that would be amazing There we go So we're learning a little bit even if it isn't perfect, even if it could probably be better, we are learning. So we did shave our run. Not by much, but a little bit. So, that's what's important to note here, and 
for today's video. I, I have no idea how long the video is going to be or if I am going to be able to squeeze in every track in this video. Um, but I do want to just simply beat the record, try shaving my record at least once. Here we are on our second track. It is Toad Circuit from 3DS. I like this, uh, the way it seems to be looking right now. And I think this is a good starting track, so I feel like, um, I feel like there's a lot of potential for what we could, uh, do with it. I did not get the trick. I think probably doing the ending cut is probably going to be faster, though. Very easy, simple track. Whoa, that was a very weird cut. But something along those lines is pretty much what I'm thinking is going to be our best bet to do. I have a feeling those uh, those boost wraps are gonna or the boost pads on the ground are gonna be faster. Oh dear, messed up the ending, but we destroyed the record. Not destroyed, destroyed, but you know, or not the record, the staff goes. There we go. Similar setup to mine. So now we're going to be racing against our own uh, ghost that we just did, and uh, the one we used when we beat the staff one. So this should be interesting. And one thing to mention, I don't know if I'm going to do 200 or not. I want to. I'd like to. Um, I'm not sure if I will be, though. There we go. That's pretty much what my idea is going to be to do uh, for a faster lap. I think my biggest concern with this track is to try and get uh, to... I mean, the goal with any of them is to try to get to 10 points as fast as possible. That is uh, an important thing to note when trying to go after records. Kind of messed it up a little bit there. But we're definitely doing better already. The only thing is, our previous run already had 10 coins at this point. So that is something we gotta be mindful of. There we go. So already we've, we've shaved off of um, this run here, so that's that's a good sign. This one, I have a feeling, is going to be uh, one that we can just work with, rework with, and um, it's going to be all about improving the lines as much as possible. Alrighty, we're off to a good start. So that is the one thing I seem to be struggling with is getting an ultra uh an ultra mini turbo in the last uh on that last section with the uh, with the shroom spot.
There we go. Just like that. That's what we want to do, basically. Honestly, I think this track for doing this run is a very good one. There we go. Perfect. So, this one is gonna be fun to just kinda shave and shave and shave and shave, which I feel like we can do a genuinely good job of. Because with each run, it slowly gets better. So we're gonna just give it one last attempt here. Um, I want to see if maybe I could shave a little bit more on this, uh, this run, which I do genuinely feel like I could do. I think I'm going to try a different strategy this time. So we are behind right now, but now we have the advantage of having 10 coins, which is going to be oh so vital. Almost messed that up. And I did not mention earlier on, but I am not going for 200 right, right now. I might try 200, um, especially with something like this one, I feel like. Uh, 200 could be a lot of fun, but for now, I'm gonna stick to 150 once we get through everything. I mean, after, like, the first, I mean, we could, we could possibly do, uh, 200. There we go, see, we just keep shaving, shaving. There's, there's little tweaks and improvements we can make, and the record probably is somewhat ridiculous, I have no idea, but I think, uh, for now, I think I'm satisfied with this. So next up is Chaco Mountain from the N64 title, which I like this one. I really like, um, the music on this one. I think this seems to be a good, faithful recreation with some quality of life improvements. It's definitely, you can tell this one is definitely inspired by its, uh, its tour variant, which is to be expected with this whole thing. It just looks really nice, though. Oh, you can trickle on those. Okay. I don't know what the best shroom spot would be. I'm honestly not seeing a super good one. But, like, we haven't even used a single one. Maybe right here. I think right right there might be my best bet. Okay, you can trick there. Alright. This should be a good one. There's not much to do with the track, but I think this will be a good one. I'm probably not going to even bother using one of those shrooms. Just for the sake of it'll be easier on me when... I obviously go after shaving my run. But yeah, this one, easy, very, very easy. Which, there's nothing wrong with that. There we go. So we just came from 
racing against the staff, so now we're going to try to shave or run as much as we can. If we can snag a record in there somewhere, that would be nice. I have no idea. Let's find out. Let's just do it. We're going to just see what we can possibly get accomplished here. A little bit of a messy attempt, but we can make it work. So far, okay. issue there. Still kind of messy, but I'm still going to go with it for now. We can always make our quality of life improvements later, as long as we actually literally race through and beat it, that's a good sign that we've improved. on our first run, just ever so slightly, but I definitely feel like we can do a lot better. Much smoother. I'm gonna try something different this time. As we can see, that has uh, paid off a little bit. I'm going to save my double shroom for the third lap, but I am going to use one at the end like I was in my previous run. Messed that up, unfortunately, but... We still have a chance to improve, of course. at the end is the most terrifying because that right there is run destroying for certain that was a very very for the most part smooth run could shave a tiny bit more off of it but that was a pretty good run okay so here we are on our next track this one is obviously the one of the most infamous if not the literal most infamous one you know it. You probably love it. I love it too. I think there's enough said there.
lots of things to trick on. So this is gonna be a fun one for sure. Wow, the cars don't even move. That's interesting. I, I honestly, visually, I think the track looks nice, but I, I don't like how they dumbed it down so much. So I was worried about that. I kind of figured that was gonna be the case, and lo and behold, it has met my expectations. It has been dumbed down, sadly, but it's still a good course uh, to drive on. Still got the same layout, so. But this part is just very dumbed down. It's unfortunate, but. It doesn't mean the track is any less nice, so. I am struggling though for some reason. And there we go. Very, uh. It feels very, like very quick in, in this game. It doesn't doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel as long. It feels shorter. It looks very nice. Like obviously visually it looks better, but and I love the detail work, but it, it could use just so much more. Here we are, here's our first attempt at shaving our run. We just did in uh just beat the staff ghost, so now we're gonna try to uh improve the run. Honestly, I think this, right now, seems to be the hardest one to, to, to start. And I just... I don't like how dumbed down it is. You know, it just, it, it's lost a bit of its charm. Which is pretty sad. Because, of course, you know, everybody knows and loves this track, but... Why do we know and love it for its charm? And, uh, this game has definitely dumbed it down a bit, so. We are catching up again, though. It's a very hard track to run. I don't know how many times I'd be actually giving this one a go, but I don't, I don't, I don't see it happening with this one. Just cause, like, It's so tough. It's a really tough one. So we did not beat it. We were close, but we did not beat it. And honestly, I'm gonna give it another shot, but I don't see it happening with this one whatsoever. This one is really, really tough for some reason. Even though it's a difficult track, I do still want to give it a shot. I'm gonna give it a fair chance. Obviously, you know, everyone loves this track. I like it too. Just, just not as much, like, you know. Like, I could sit here and be like, haha, I like this track, of course I like this track, nostalgia, haha. But no. I mean, there are tracks that I am that way about, but... It's not this one for me. I do like the track, though. I've just never overly liked it like other people. Of course, I like the memes from it, but... 
as a whole, I just, I don't know. I find this track to be overrated, but I do like it still. Still gonna just keep the run going. I know normally I'd probably start start it over, but I feel like we still have a shot here. Possibly that that spot right there with the low trick is very nice. It's gonna be very vital. I think we might beat it this time. I have a good feeling that we will probably beat it this time. There we go. Barely shaved it. Barely shaved it, but we made it work. We messed up on the second lap, but we made it work. Overall, I'm kind of disappointed in, in, in the track. I do like the remix. I do uh, like it really visually, it looks really nice, but I feel like they've taken, they've kind of stripped and robbed it of its charm a bit. At least it's still visually appealing though. Alright, now we're on to our second cup of tracks. This, this one is also a tour track, so this will be interesting. Because I am, um, obviously I'm doing all of this blind because I want to do this with a uh, raw experience. I don't want to, you know, just already have played played it a gazillion times and just grinding it. I want to try doing it, you know, like from a blind perspective. Uh, that's interesting. I like this track. It, it's very simple. It looks very nice though. Like, you see the track layout and you'd think it'd feel, like, super long, but it doesn't, which is nice. And that shortcut there with the, the grass and the ramp, I think, is gonna be, uh, good too. It's interesting how you actually have to take certain paths. I like this idea. Right now we've slowed down. We slow. We have slowed down a bit. So somehow, Staff Ghost is catching us, which we obviously don't want. Oh, I like that. I mean, obviously I've played these in tour, but <laughs> it's an interesting experience just uh, playing them like this. I just love how uh, the track changes every time. That's an interesting uh, thing to implement within this particular um, within the particular mainline title because it hasn't been done before. Because obviously tour doesn't count as a mainline title unless you want it to, but it's interesting. All right, here we go. We're giving it another another go this time. Of course, we just beat the staff ghost, so now our goal is going to be to trim our run as much as possible here on Tokyo Blur, which I like the theming of the track a lot. I don't know how much we're going to be able to improve, but we'll see. I do mess up that end spot a bit there, so that's going to be an important thing we're going to want to correct and fix right from the get-go.
So far we're doing okay. We could probably do a tiny bit better, but we're doing good so far. I really like how um, you're forced to change paths. It makes you really uh, think twice and it keeps you on your toes, especially when you're doing something like this. And there we go. I almost forgot to use the last one. But there we go. Um, honestly, we probably could shave it or run more. But I don't think it's necessary right for right now. So I'm not going to give it another attempt. We're just going to move on. Okay, next up is Shroom Ridge from DS. I love music from Shroom Ridge. So, um... This should be an interesting experience because I always found this one to be a little bit slow. But I'm curious to see what's changed. Um, obviously besides visually, I do like those, uh, I like that the coins are moving. It's interesting. Very nice quality of life change. Ah, they have the uh, the skateboard ramp cars. That should be interesting. I'm not sure, honestly, what would be the ideal shroom spot. Not really seeing one. It's very easy to get uh, 10 coins right away, though, on this track, which is very good. I'm thinking over here is probably my best option. Oh, yeah. That looks to be the best shroom spot. Hit a car, but it's okay because... It's not a big deal because we obviously are going to run it back again anyway, so... And we're far enough ahead of the record to where we can... We have, uh... Or, not the record. The... Staff goes to where we have room to improve, so. Not a huge deal. That's gonna be interesting. That cut at the end is probably gonna be super duper easy on 200, though. For certain. There we go. Solid first uh, attempt on this one. I like uh, I like the track. It, it looks pretty simplistic, but it is a simple track anyway, so I don't really have anything particularly bad or really even good to say about it, but I like it. So here we are running it back as usual and uh, Hopefully we don't hit a car this time <laughs> I uh, Still think it's funny I did that, but I kept the run going anyway, because I was like, you know what? It's a good first run. We'll just keep it going. This track is going to feel very nice on 200, I have a feeling. Messed that up. Oh, I see a... I see a, uh, I didn't notice that the first time, but just like in Neo Bowser City from the 3DS where it has that, like, cut that you can make in the air with a glider, I'd notice one of those, I think, on the track. I don't know if there's anything you can do with it, because there's no, uh, gliding on this track. And obviously I think that set of coins is probably not worth it. Yeah, I see it over there. I kind of want to go for it. If I mess up the run somehow, then I might go for it, but 
I don't want to do it because this run so far is pretty solid. Aside from like, I think I made two mistakes right during the shortcut. So that's going to probably be the hardest part is gauging where to cut and... Oh, I noticed the... Oh, there is a glide ramp there. I didn't even notice that the first, uh, first time. So yeah, I'm definitely going to want to give that a shot as well. Whoa, we're drifting everywhere. This is going to feel insane on 200. But there we go, we vastly shaved our run. Surprisingly still, so we're going to keep it going, honestly. Give it another attempt. Because I didn't notice that ramp in the grass the first time. Oh yeah, that's much more worth it. And honestly, I'm not too concerned with the coins on this track because they are everywhere on this track, so... Even if I don't, like, get them right away or whatever, I can still make it work. Oh no, I messed that up. I messed up my drift there. That's no good. So I do think we are gonna shave our run here. We did shave the run. Again, very slightly, but this one is gonna be a fun one to run for sure. Cause the lines on this track, well, I probably could tweak them and improve them a bit. They're very fun. And I like this track anyway. I just, like I said, I really like the music, so solid attempt. Next is Sky Garden, which was recently added to uh, Tor, but this version is definitely changed. I have a feeling that's probably going to be what we, w what we want to do, is that uh, cut right there. Wow. Wow. Okay. This track has a lot of potential. I actually really like this remake. It doesn't feel the same at all. Oh man, there's a lot of shortcut potential in this one. I'm gonna save- I'm gonna- my strategy is gonna be to save all three shrooms for the last lap. Because I saw three potential cuts we could do. We could do the leaf one in the beginning, which is right there. And then there is... I love this mushroom. Um, there's that cut right there, right after the mushroom. And then there is that cut right there through that, like, I guess we'll call it a beanstalk. I like the cloud texture. It looks really like, like it's moving or something. It's a cool effect that's on it. There we go. Wow, okay. This track's physics are pretty interesting, though. Looks 
So we didn't. So we were pretty close to uh, the staff post here, but I think uh, for a first run, it wasn't too bad. So, like usual, we're gonna give it another go. We're gonna race against our ghost that we just created um, after beating the staff ghost, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I feel like. Obviously, as long as we get like stuff like the trick there, and we don't make silly simple mistakes, I think uh, this is a pretty solid, fairly easy run. I don't know if that cut at the end is going to be what I want to do every time, but there's a possibility that that's what I do if I don't see that much of improvement. Because I feel like the first two cuts don't do as much. And there we are, we're at 10 now. Our uh, ghost is very close to us. Here we go, just got a nosedive. We did it a little better. That one is still kind of messy, so that second one is probably not even that much worth it. This one right here, though, I feel like that last one is kind of critical. So I feel like we could shave our run a little, so I decided to give it another shot. And this time, my strategy is going to be, I'm going to try to go for that uh, in the stalk ending uh, cut all three laps. That's what we're going to do, because this second cut feels useless, the leaf cut kind of feels useless too, so. We gotta make it a, as much of a U-turn as we possibly can. We have to pull it in extremely tight in order for it to make much more of an impact. I missed the first trick. Unfortunate. But already I can see a vast improvement. But of course this lap is where that ghost of mine could easily start catching up. I think that's a better strategy going for the ultra there. We gotta get an ultra there as well. And there we go. Much more shaved down, which is nice. So here we are, we have our last track of the day of wave one for the booster pass, which is Ninja Hideaway from Tor. And I really like this track visually. It looks very nice, but oh boy, is it confusing. I have absolutely no idea where to go, what to do, nothing. We're gonna try this. I see a shortcut here. Interesting. I'm just gonna go right here, I guess. I, I absolutely have no idea. It's hard to even stay on the track. My god. This is such a cool track, but it has a confusing design. 
And I like, I like a nice, uh, nice bright colorful track like this one, but I don't think this is going to be a track I get any sort of record on. If I do, it would have been by some sort of miracle. Because as you guys can see, I am struggling on this track. Absolutely struggling. This course layout is immensely confusing. I feel like this bottom path is probably the way to go. It's probably faster. I'd assume it's faster. And that shortcut that I found is probably what you want to take. Is my guess. Yeah, I can see that shortcut being extra vital. So, obviously, this run is extremely messy. But I do see some potential to be had with it. A very confusing track, but I like it. I think this is probably one of my favorites so far out of anything that's been added to the booster course. But now we're gonna run it back and uh, see if we could possibly shave this. This is a longer track too, which is interesting. So we'll, we'll see, maybe we can shave it. Okay, here we go. Here's our first attempt at trying to shave this run. Hopefully we can succeed in that and don't get too confused or anything of the sort. I'm still gonna stick with it. This time I am gonna try to drift here. There we go. That was a little, a little bit better. I've missed a trick otherwise though. Much better. I can already see myself improving. Ah, drifted the wrong way. We're already starting to make improvements. That's nice. That's what we like to see. I do not want to trick there because that's a death sentence. I really like the music on this one. Oh, there we go. Nice. We got the trick there. Okay, good, good, good. Now we are vastly improving on this run. Doing much better here. Oh god, what? I didn't even know that could happen. Wow, this game is so nitpicky. We were doing good. I'll still keep this run going, though. That was good. Missed the ultra. That was a okay-ish run. It wasn't too bad. Could have been much worse. We're gonna give it another go, though. I do feel like I could. I, I truly do feel like I could shave this run a little more. So now we are shaving this run a little bit further. Because I feel like we can do that. Apparently you can trick on those uh, rocks in the beginning, which I didn't notice that. There we go, that was pretty smooth. Nose dive. 
There we go. Good. Very good, very good. There we go. We're starting to improve. Did not get the trick, but we did get the ultra. Good. So far, so good. Okay, that was pretty good. Okay, good, good, good. Alright, there we go. Still didn't get the trick at the end. Oh no, don't crash. Don't fall. Okay, good. That could have been much worse. We got a very nice run here. Very, very nice. There we go. That might even be the strat for that part right there. Still can't trick at the end for some reason. But there we go. That was a very improved run. Very, very improved run. I like that run quite a bit. So, so far, we've done the Golden Shroom Cup and the Lucky Bell Cup. Or, the Golden Dash Cup and the Lucky Cat Cup. And so far, I, I like what I'm seeing so far. It's pretty solid. I think uh, a couple of these tracks I feel like we could probably improve upon immensely. Some of them probably not as much. But I like what I'm seeing so far, and I think... Uh, I think it'll be it'll be good. Also, I noticed that Ninja Hideaway isn't marked with the tour mark, which is interesting. But so far, I I like these tracks and uh, I liked uh, experimenting with them, uh, playing them blindly for you guys, and I enjoyed uh, trying to shave my runs as much as I could. And uh, we'll probably be back again with this. We'll probably be back with these. Uh, these same tracks. I, I don't know if it'll be the, the next episode or what, but for now, um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, and I'm glad to be doing a brand new Mario Kart series, so I think uh, you guys will enjoy seeing me improve. I hope you will, and if you have any suggestions for the, the series, maybe, I could, maybe, maybe even a name for it, um, I, I guess I could call it Record Attempts or something, but who knows? Who knows? And uh, if you guys, you know, have any suggestions for the series or anything, if you guys want to see me do these same ones but 200, I will be more than happy to do that. So leave any of your suggestions for me uh, down in the comment section. And uh, I really like, like I said, I like these tracks so far. They're all pretty solid, Pre pretty, pretty interesting. Um, I know most of them are remade and tour and just ported from it, but. I think they play well in this game, and uh, it's interesting how the tour tracks kind of still have that gimmick to them where they uh, they change the laps every time. That should that should make for some interesting experiences online and even with uh, record running. So I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll just call this episode one, I guess. I hope you enjoyed episode one of my uh, my new Mario Kart series, and. Uh, if you have any suggestions, like I said, or anything, any sort of thoughts on it whatsoever, do leave those down in the comment section below for me. And I hope you all have a wonderful day, or wonderful night, whatever time it may be for you. And as always, stay magical. Farewell for now.